Good afternoon, everybody. Da, da, da. This is Crystal with Crystal's Creations Wyckoff. How are you all doing? Do, do, do. I will share all my stuff. Let everybody know that I'm live. So I will just sing to myself. No. Oh, let's see. Watch live now. Crystal's Creations. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Dawn. Okay. Share to copy link. Who else? What? Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye. Uh, what is it? Sing a song of sixpence, the the pocket full of rye. Uh, blop blop. Oh gosh, put the blackbirds in a pie, cut it open. Uh, oh my, I don't remember that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, one in 20 blackbirds. Oh, yeah, now, now I'm finally getting it. Hi, Bethany. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. No, 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 not that. No, I don't want weather. I'm not going to share my video to weather. I need to go to my group. Diddly dee. Doodly -de -de. Oh my goodness gracious. So come on. Okay. No, come on. I am live. Return. Paste. I can't see. Okay, there we go. Post. Okay, who else is on? Did I miss anybody? Let's see. Elizabeth, Dawn, Bethany. Good. Okay. Since there's three of us, so live chat, so I can keep a hang of it right there on my phone. Today I am playing with one of the new releases from my um, polka dot orchard thing. And this is called, I need my cheat sheet. It's called You Will Find Refuge. You Will Find Refuge by Jeannie Hayes. Hi, Tony. You just got home? Oh, sweet. And so it's called You Will Find Refuge by Jeannie Hayes. And it's got all kinds of birdhouses and stuff like that. And I already got what I wanted to use on it. And, but I'm going to kind of turn it into a Christmas card. So I'm going to use this. And here's one of the stencils called Plenty of Leaves stencil that can kind of go with it. And here's the bird, one of the birds that goes with it. And we're going to color him with um, blue lunar paste. Okay. And then we're going to use this birdhouse. And we're going to use uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, later gator lunar paste. And uh slippery when wet lunar paste on this birdhouse so that is what we're gonna do on that one so i'm gonna set aside all of this you will find refuge birdhouse stuff i'm gonna set it all aside um yeah, it was pretty hot today, but I think the winds have come in today and cooled us off. So I'm happy for the wind to cool us down some. 
So we might actually get some rain. I'm going to lower down so you guys can see. Um, make sure you guys can see that. Good. I'm going to find my sticky mat. Ugh. And then we're going to put this down. And I'm going to do something totally different. Now, normally people would probably just ink over the top of this and do different colors or color their birdhouses or whatever. I am going to stencil over the top of these birdhouses. And this stencil, I cannot use lunar paste with this at all. I have tried. It is a complete fail. <laughs> this stencil, the leaves are just too paper thin that I have to use um yeah tomorrow we're supposed to get down to 82 for a high so i am like so excited for 82 for a high for tomorrow for here i'm like yay about time so so but So you're at 88, Bethany, 93 in Maine, 88 in where you're at, Bethany. It was supposed to be 96 here in Westminster, but the winds came in, I think, cooled us down to the 80s, which is great. So... It's really cloudy. It might get some thunderstorms. I'm starting to feel the thunderstorm is coming in. So I'm like, okay, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> so. So I'm just going to stencil over the top of these birdhouses. So I'm going to use Evergreen Bow and Candied Apple. So I am going Tim Holtz for this part. And I'm trying to figure out which one am I using. This one? Or is it this one? This one. And then I don't have a... I think I'm just going to use this one also for red. So I have these really teeny tiny blending brushes that I got off Amazon. They're really itty bitty. They work great. I love them. And I have this thing here completely full of brushes and they're all labeled every color has a brush <laughs> so i have 28 brushes in here <laughs> every oxide and all of simon hurley's has its own brush so that way no colors really gets mixed because i don't want to mix my colors huh you're making chocolate you're making what? Chocolate fudge cookie cups? You're cooking? You're baking when it's hot? How do you do that, Dawn? Huh, no way. There is no way I can do that. Uh-uh. I cannot. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't see how you can cook and bake when it's so crazy hot out. I can't. I would sweat to death. So I'm going to go in and start with good old candied apple. Because I just want a good Christmas red, I guess. We're just going to go in really lightly. But yeah, there's a 
there's some more stencils that I was given sent. I cannot show you guys those stencils yet because they're not in the store yet. And oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, they're so beautiful. And it's like I wanted to use one of them today in, in the in the live, but I'm like, no, I can't. And it's like, oh, it's so not fair. So it's like, oh, I can't. <laughs> it's like, I'm so sad. You grilled pizza this week so I didn't have to heat up the house. Oh, you grilled it outside? No, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I wish we wouldn't would have won the Mega Millions so that we could, uh, you know, get a bigger house, you know, build a bigger house and have a pizza oven outside. That would be really nice to have a pizza oven outside. So are y'all guys going to get the next Mega Millions ticket and play? Think of some really nice numbers. We actually won $12 off of the last one. I was kind of shocked. I was like, no way, yay, $12. Better than nothing, I guess. So now I'm going in with good old Evergreen Bow. Uh, you know, the other day when I was looking at my stencils, and I don't know if you guys know this, but when you stencil and you look at them, did you know that when you're stenciling, that's another form of sublimation? Because you're getting your your stencil print onto your cardstock. So you're sublimating the print of your stencil onto your paper. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. So I know a lot of people say, oh, I don't, I don't sublimate. I never do sublimation. But when you use your stencils on your cardstock, you're actually sublimating in some form or fashion. And it leaves that white print on the cardstock where the ink isn't. Uh-oh. Did you just move? I hope you didn't move. It probably did. That's okay. Okay. Now let's see how this looks. With the candy apple or whatever color I just used. So now we don't we won't need the sticky mat anymore. And I won't need this tape anymore. Oh, that just ripped. Oh. Now I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see the reveal of it. Yeah, I bet grilled pizza was really good. I like grilled pizza. Man. I think we're going to do chicken on the grill for dinner tonight. Now, I'm not going to do the cleanup on a piece of paper right now because I, this is, I'm just going to set this aside for now, do this later. So there is this. Oh, you have an oven in the garage. Oh, wow. Oh, this actually turned out really good. Look at that. That looks really good. I like that. So that's good. It turned out good. So there's the birdhouse. So while that's going, we are going to work on... I'm going to have to move this out of the way now. So we're going to work on the birdhouse. And we're going to do green, later gator, and slippery when wet. So I need my water brush... And my Tim Holtz sprayer. So we're going to do, let's see, what do I want to do? Do I want to do all gold and then a green heart or all green and a gold? The 
gold heart. What do you guys think? What should I do? All green and a gold heart or all gold and a green heart? I need, I need you guys to kind of help me here. All gold since you have green on the big end. Oh, so I got evergreen bow on that part. Okay, so gold here and then a green heart. Okay, good idea. Both. Okay. Okay. So I'll do gold here. So gold here. Green. A little bit of green here, I think. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, never mind. And then I need my knife right here. Okay, I got this. And I got it. Okay, tiny bit of lunar paste. We don't need too much for this. And do I have a scrap piece of paper here that I can wipe this on that I can use for something else, like a fancy belly band or something? Yep. Okay. All right, so now I'm just mixing my later gator with the water with the perfect pearls. Okay. Test that out. Okay, that looks good. All right. So now I'm going to do green heart. What? Green with gold, both. Ha uh ha. -huh. Huh, okay. Well, okay. And then we're going to go green up here. And then green right here. Well, this is a different shade of green, though. It's not the same as Evergreen Bell. Okay. So now I need put that in there. I need to rinse that out. And I need a bigger piece of scrap paper. Uh... 
This will work. So now I'm going to mop this up because I'm not going to throw it away. I don't like to throw away my inky messes or anything else. At least I try not to because then this will be a background for some other card. Okay. Uh, this thing's getting kind of tight on my ears. If I take it off, you guys wouldn't be able to hear me. <laughs> Oh. Okay. So now we're going to use Slippery When Wet, which looks a little goldy. Shouldn't need too much of that either. Okay. Lid on. I need to clean the rims of those off. They're getting kind of crusty. Yuck. Okay. And now. So I was actually able to, with uh, Polka Dot Orchard yesterday, I was actually able to create a vent in our um, one group or page, our private page that I belong to now, that apparently they sent me an invite to and I never got it. And because obviously Facebook just doesn't seem to work these days for invites to stuff but it's apparently a private um page for those of us that are on the um design team for polka dot orchard and um i uh was having a hard time understanding about where to post the event thing for doing a zoom craft session with the polka dot orchard people and stuff and so I finally got that figured out so next Saturday um, we're gonna do a crafty session with them so that ought to be fun on zoom but not I told them it won't be on YouTube so I said you don't have to worry about going live So I already have a couple people signed up to that are excited about crafting next Saturday with me on that. Oh, it's okay, Elizabeth. Completely understand. Phone calls happen. So here's my background, in case you missed it, with the leafy, the old leafy, plenty of leaf stencil. And now I'm working on the birdhouse. And then next up will be the um, bluebird. We're going to make a bluebird. Yeah.
trying to get more stuff on here. I want this to really, I guess, stand out a little bit better. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to take this piece of cardstock and we're going to sweep this up. There. All cleaned up. All right. Oh. Am I still? I didn't. Okay, good. Still on. Still plugged in. <laughs> okay, so that's done. That looks pretty good. I like a little bit of white showing. Not too bad. Okay, now we're going to do the bird. So, oh, let's rinse this out here. Oh, I saw this. Uh, you guys, this one uh, water rinsing brush. Oh, yeah, I saw that one thing on scrapbook.com, that one mat. Did you guys see that? I know Simon Hurley demonstrated it. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh. Did you guys all see that um, mat that Simon Hurley demonstrated, the scrapbook.com uh, watercoloring mat? where it's white, it's like 13 by 16 inches, and it has like a, a collapsible water, um, collapsible water mat, and, and it has like a whole palette of like watercolor station thing at the top of the mat and everything. Yeah, that, Dawn, yes, that thing was like totally awesome. And I tell you, the two people that won the $50 and $100 gift, gift certificate, oh, I bet they were, like, totally excited. I bet you they both got that thing. I was like, how exciting. Okay. okay, now on to the blue. Okay. So now we're just going to do a blue bird. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Dawn. Um, I 
Yeah, I'm going to be doing my drawing here real soon for a video for the 100 subscribers. But I think I'm going to do it to where I just click on just for subscribers only and just have it to where only the subscribers comment. Have you guys, those of you that do videos, like Elizabeth, have you done a video like that where you just click on subscribers only? I think that's how I'm going to do it. And then have 110 of you leave a comment. Can't believe I have 110 or so subscribers now. I was like, oh my goodness. Okay, now for his beaky, I think. I am, oops, some of that kind of came off. I am, oh yeah, thanks Dawn. I'm going to use a little bit of OR1. There. So that is OR1. Okay. So he's done. This stuff dries really fast, especially when you're watercoloring. Okay, we're done with that. So now we're going to try and get this card put together. I already have a six by six inch card base. So I'm going to try and turn around and get it. Let's see how far I can go without cutting off my head. <laughs> Uh, oy, oy, oy. Okay, I got my some of my card bases that I've already got pre-folded and everything else. So where is my 6x6? Six six? I think I have one right here. It's kind of metallic-y. There's one right there. That'll work. And I'm just going to put you down right there for now. I'll put you away later. Okay, so we're going to use this gray or silver-ish metallic color card base. And we're going to put this on top of this. And I think I'm just going to glue it on. Because we're not going to foam this one on. I think that'll look cool. So glue right here. And I am getting low on my glue. Um... Oh, walking by sleeping little, so I had to turn off for a sec. Oh, that's fine, Bethany. Completely understand. Completely understand. I have three kids, so I understand, but of course mine are all grown up now, so I I do get I do get it, so Sometimes I miss those days of them being so young and so little, but now they're all soon to be 20 and in their 20s. It's like it grew up so fast. It's like, where did the time go? Okay, that looks good. 
Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. All right. Now I am going to punch a hole in this because I'll show you what I was going to do. There's my tiny side. Then I'm going to take some ribbon and well, now what kind of tape did I use? Can't get it off. My goodness. Stay there for a second. And then get my scissors here. Not sure how long of a piece I want. And then I am going to fold it like so. See if I can get it through the hole. I am not going to tie a fancy bow or anything like that. I do have one of those We Are Memory Keepers bow tying comb, but I really need to practice with that gizmo because let me tell you, I really need to practice my bow tying. I am not very good at it. So I just do this. Yeah, so easy. But we all know how to do that. That is how I do my bow tying. I just add a ribbon to it. It almost looks like it could be a Christmas tree ornament. How about that? Hey, that's an idea. Make ornaments out of birdhouses. How cute would that be? Then, uh, we don't need all that on, so now we're going to cut some of this off. So, let's see. Well, I don't know. So I'm going to probably angle that a little bit, and then we're going to put him kind of like that. So kind of like have him like standing there. I kind of wish this would have came with a twig, but I don't have a stick. I don't have a twig or a sticky. And I can't draw a stick on there, but I don't know. <sighs> so, but we are going to prop it up with foam. And then I need my junky scissors. I like this idea, Bethany, so I adopted this from you, okay? So I hope you don't mind. I do like it. Junky scissors. So I tell everybody now in my videos. And then I tell everybody to go to your channel, too, and I, I tag your channel into mine. Say, go watch Bethany's videos, too. And then I tell everybody about Elizabeth, too. And Dawn, too. Or when I can remember about other people, when my brain remembers. Like the other day, I when I talked about my camping card... My camping video that was like over an hour long. I was talking about all my camping stories. I uh, I was talking about Rebecca Keppel's Rebecca Keppel, how she's a really good colorist. Because I said I am by far not a very good colorist. I don't color well at all. So now we're gonna do foam on foam. 
And so I linked her channel into mine and stuff like that. So, or that at so and so or whatever you do. Okay. I think this will work. Where he looks like he's just sitting there. Okay. That will work. Twist some paper. Take some strips of copy paper or tissue paper and twist it up. Oh. Yeah, I guess I could have done that, but... Oh, well. I'll just make it look like he's in the hole or something. Okay, and then we're going to add some sort of Christmas sentiment, like a Merry Christmas, which I do have one right here and unfortunately i wish they would have a christmas sentiment that i could use but they do not so i'm gonna have to and i'm just gonna use a plain piece of paper i think yeah, so we're just going to stamp on that. Yep. And use, uh, we'll just use Shady because I like this color by Simon Hurley. Wee! Hey, wipe that off. Okay, Put that away. All right, let's cut this up real quick. Yeah. And his shady ink. You can watercolor with it. You can alcohol color with it. Oh, and you know what I saw the other day, guys? I was totally shocked. I was watching a YouTube video and it was a commercial or no, it was on, oh no, it was a, I don't know. It was a YouTube video by, um, oh God, who, who, who does the, who does the Spectrum Noir markers? Um, whoever does those, um, that person. Um, I'm trying to remember, but whoever they are, the company that does those, I didn't even know that they existed, but yeah, Crafters Companion. Thank you, Tony. But they have aqua markers, like watercolor markers with double ends on them. And I was like, are you serious? <laughs> I was like, and I, I called my daughter in and I was like, Rebecca, guess what? Spectrum Noir has aqua watercolor markers. Come here. Look at this image. It looks totally awesome. Okay. Well, I want that there. Do I want that there? Do I want that there? Huh, looks good up there. We'll put it up there. And we're going to glue it on. I'm not going to foam it or anything. And I was just totally, I did not know that they existed. I didn't know they made their own watercolored markers too. 
I was like, well, I know what I'm getting in the nearest future, later on, down the road. Yes, Crafter's Companion. Yes, Don. Yep. I was just totally blown away. So there's that. And then all I got to do is add some gems to it, and it will be done. But I don't think I have to add it. I got to get out of this thing. It's hurting my ears, guys. <sighs> mm. <sighs> Sorry. But, yeah, I got to get this headset off my head. It feels like it's squeezing my ears into my brain. <laughs> but here's the card. There it is. It actually turned out cute. I wasn't sure if I can turn it into a Christmas card or not, but it turned out really beautiful. So I like it. Turned out adorable. I just hope she likes it and approves of it. <sighs> so and I'll just add some gems to it and I'll be done. And then I'll post it on Instagram when I get it done. So thank you for joining me, everybody and everything and you guys can hear me right right it says i have a microphone on so I just make sure you all can hear me okay correct i'm loud and clear and everything twist some raffia oh i didn't even see that one sound was great oh good 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 great Oh, hi, Ramona. Oh, you just came in when I'm done with a video. You'll have to watch the replay. <laughs> but here's the card. So you'll have to watch it from the beginning. But yeah, but thank you all for joining me. And I will see some of you. Um, some of us will be live with Elizabeth tonight on her channel. Um, on uh, Zoom, doing a fun crafty session. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Bethany, for joining. Thank you, Ramo Ramona, for popping in. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll you'll want to watch the replay. It was fun making it. So, for sure. Yeah. So. Yes, you will be live. I can't believe they made you wait 24 hours to do that. I didn't have to wait 24 hours to do my live. That's pretty odd. I've never heard of that before. I never had to wait 24 hours to do my live. I just got on and did my first live back whenever that was and just did it. I never had to wait. So that's weird. How odd. Rules must have changed or something. I don't know. No weird. But anyways. All right, y'all. I will talk to y'all later. And see some of you later on YouTube again. At some point in time later on this evening. Not sure when that will be. But I'll see you all later. Bye. Love ya.